We had a port recall authority, but it was forwarded to the incorrect IP, and now we have to license that IP out from Sony just to get a decent shot at the guy we are supposed to waste management shake-up. What have you done for me lately since you increased my foreign effect, eh? Tonsillitis? Hardly knew the guy. I was inspired by a list of frogs that have not been seen recently. I never knew that. I never knew how to keep track of all the frogs that I do not see. But the method these young Jesuits have invented is first-rate, top draw, highly refined and excessively evolved. And as unseen amphibian population tracking heuristics go, it is certainly one of them. But when I cornered the Jesuit who invented it at a Presbyterian prostate exam, he kept telling me shh until I started to suspect it was a scam. But at the end, the curtains parted and I realized that I'd merely been asking the wrong questions. I was in fact on stage at a Jesuit prostate examination convention where I was the keynote prostate. I had a chance to pose my question after the ceremony and wouldn't you know it if but the ceremony was part of a tax write-off sponsored by the state of Pennsylvania, even though it's actually a commonwealth. I used to have wealth in common with the muscle builder man who used to store batteries inside larger batteries that he made by nesting smaller batteries inside larger batteries and then hooking them together internally with a nanoprobe that was altered to work as a micrometer scale soldering iron. I used to have a pet mimic, but he almost escaped and I realized it was too dangerous a thing to let live. I crawled out of a sewer three different times that I can remember, but I have no recollection of ever entering into one. I'm still not sure what that is about, but I keep track of these incidents in a red ledger that is buried under my septic tank. The only way I can make new additions is to crawl down into the sewer to reach it, so I try not to crawl out of a sewer unless I can help it, because I don't like having to update that cursed thing. I have a lot of electronic power drills inside my friends. They don't know that there are electronic power drills inside them, and this truth gnaws at me, and it gnaws at me at night in the dark of the night when the light isn't up to the task of chasing them away and the poor friends the poor friends absolutely squirming with power tools and nothing about their innocent open expressions gives the slightest hint that they know the pain they are in and what I found with friends suffering this unspeakable depredation in the past is that when you release those power drills all that pain that they've been hiding inside themselves unknown this whole time it all bubbles to the surface in an instant, along with a frightful amount of blood. Simply frightful amounts. Simply frightful. Did you know how scary it can be to see all those years of suffering bubble out at once? The only way to get the power drills out is to use homeopathic methods. To treat a friend filled with thousands of millions of malevolent power drills, one must use one very strong, oh, so very strong power drill to free them of the agony. And oh, how that agony will bubble and burble and smuggle the blood out with it and it fills the air like a mist a blood red mist of sorrow and redemption mingling on the shrieking wind of the screaming friends that's the best way to do it call up the screaming friends they're playing at the quadruple window this Tuesday night sure it's a week night and they don't go on until 1 a.m. but have you heard those gals three of them used to be in the saxophone widows but their singer walked into a shake shack wearing an aluminum fork bomb Jerry rigged into a fanny pack and they thought they would change their name. The new singer was in the Bromide Barometer project but left when she realized they were the worst band in the world. Besides, their bass player has since been outed as a Nazi sympathizer and a cuckoo cakes commiserator. I grated her like cheese and melted her on sourdough and ever since the Screaming Friends has been my favorite band and I've got all their albums and their butts are big and their necks are small and they can walk really good but if they have to look up their vertebrae snap and it sounds gross but for some weird reason I find I actually love the smell and that gnaws at me in the dark stretches of the night when I'm trying to ignore all the electronic power drills hiding deep inside all my friends trapping their screams in horrific glowing bubbles of thick blood that split and fuse like lumps of luminous lard like glutinous globs of gelatinous glow gunk scream all you want precious souls I'll free your blood bubbles with all immediate dispatch Glorfin bunker out deep state deep cover no Clay Higgins's bridges bitches no Clay Higgins's bridges bitches